This video will show you how can you do e-invoicing in AutoCAD Accounting. All right. First of all, what you need to do is go to General Maintenance Company Profile. So you need to make sure that your registration number is filled in your company profile. This is crucial as it is used to identify your Pepo IT later on. All right. So once you have filled in your registration number, go to e-invoicing, Pepo account, and AutoCAD Accounting will auto capture your PEPO information and save it into AutoCAD Accounting. As you can see from here, uh, even your PEPO ID uh, is being captured from the PEPO network and are being shown and displayed in here. What you need to do next is just click Save to save all this information in AutoCAD. Next, we move on to a UOM mapping. Where do you get this UOM mapping? Under e-invoice, we have a UOM mapping. So what is this UOM mapping? UOM mapping means that you will have to map all your items measurement, unit of measurement into a unit code that is recognized by the PEPO. So take for example, you have uh, certain items that are using a box as your UOM, you have uh, certain items that is using pieces as your UOM, and uh, you have certain items that uses unit as a UOM. So what you need to do is you just need to map them to the recognized uh, unit code. So for example, I map a few of these over here and you just need to click save. Alright, so next moving on, customer. So how can you uh, set up your customer in AutoCAM? So you just go to AR, tap to maintenance, alright, create new, take for example, this company is a uh, creative evil. All you need to do and make sure is that you key in the registration number correctly. All right. So this is the registration of a uh, creative evil. So what you need to do next is go to the PEPO account tab, click on the check PEPO ID. If this is a valid uh, company registered with the PEPO network, it will auto capture the PEPO ID back into AutoCAD and what you need to do next is just save all right so and last of all how can you send invoice so it's pretty much simple go to sales invoice all right create a new invoice choose your customer in for this case we'll be choosing Leong private limited as this is for testing purpose all right and just Add in any items that you want to sell to this customer. So for example, I've keyed in uh, some gadgets over here, keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, all right, and uh, date, everything will be uh, done. Then you just click save, all right. Once you save, you click on refresh. If you see that there's a trace ID, this means that it is already sent over to the Pebble network. So switching back to the customer perspective, all right, this is the customer perspective, Leon, private limited. What you need to do is, as a customer, if I receive invoice, I just need to go to e-invoicing, retrieve invoice, all right, this is the page for me to retrieve my invoice, and just need to click inquiry. Of course, you have the date over here, you click inquiry, you will see that these invoices are being uh, captured from the PEPO network. What you will need to do is just select the invoice that you want to save and click post to invoice. Wait for a moment. As you can see, these invoices are being posted into your supplier invoice uh, perfectly. You can even double click into each of the uh, purchase invoice and you can see the information of the purchase invoice displayed in front of you. All right. So that's all for today, uh, for this video. This is how simple you can do e-invoicing with AutoCount Accounting.